The US Air Force has conducted a scheduled test launch of an LGM 30G Minuteman 3 intercontinental ballistic missile from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. But the important part is that it had an unusual load of three unarmed reentry vehicles. It's to be noted that the missile is tested four to five times a year, but the last time Minuteman 3 was tested with three reentry vehicles was on April 25, 2018. Viewers may note that all operationally deployed Minuteman 3s are presently armed with only one warhead in a single reentry vehicle as part of the United States obligations on the New Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty, or New START. Air Force and Navy personnel on board an E 6B Mercury Airborne Command Post aircraft initiated the missile launch. E 6B is an important component of the deterrent capability since it provides a backup option for launching the missiles remotely if other command and control nodes get taken out by a preemptive strike. Air Force Colonel Omar Colbert, head of the 576th Flight Test Squadron at Vandenberg, said in a statement, The flight test program demonstrates one part of the operational capability of the ICBM weapon system. This visible message of national security serves to assure our allies and dissuade potential aggressors. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why American Minuteman 3 testing with three reentry vehicles is a direct message to Russia and China. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. The Minuteman family of missiles has served as the backbone of the U.S. land-based nuclear strategic force since 1962. In 1955, the Soviet Union successfully tested a hydrogen bomb, and in 1957 it launched the Sputnik satellite, surpassing the United States in rocket technology. Fearing that the Soviet Union had the ability to attack the United States with intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBM, the United States made the development of a reliable, rapid-response ballistic missile the highest priority. On February 27, 1958, the U.S. Air Force received approval from the Department of Defense to begin research and development of the new missile designated weapon system 133A called the Minuteman. On October 9, 1958, the Air Force announced its selection of Boeing as assembly and test contractor for the Minuteman missile. The weapon is tasked primarily with the deterrence role, threatening Soviet cities with a second strike counter value counter attack if the US was attacked. However, with the development of the US Navy's Polaris, which addressed the same role, the Air Force began to modify Minuteman into a weapon with much greater accuracy with the specific intent of allowing it to attack hardened military targets including Soviet missile silos. The Minuteman III began development in 1964 and entered service in 1970. Its command and control lie with the Air Force Global Strike Command. America deployed around 1,000 Minutemen III by the end of the 1970s. The number shrank to around 450 by September 2017, and currently there are about 400. The U.S. military plans to keep the missiles in service until at least 2030. Over the years, it's been found that Minuteman 3 has been extremely reliable. It's to be noted that the missile has seen many upgrades over the years to keep them up to date. Minuteman series of missile gained range with incremental versions with Minuteman 3 acknowledged to have an operational range of 8,100 miles or 13,000 kilometers 
though the exact range is classified. As per many analysts, the missile actually can travel as far as 9,950 miles or 16,000 kilometers depending on the warhead configuration. Minuteman 3 is designed to be launched from missile silos. A missile silo is a vertical cylindrical structure constructed underground for the storage and launching of intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBMs. These structures typically have the missile some distance below ground, protected by a large blast door on top. They are usually connected physically and or electronically to a missile launch control center. Minuteman 3 missiles are regularly tested with launches from Vandenberg Air Force Base in order to validate the effectiveness, readiness and accuracy of the weapon system as well as to support the weapon's primary purpose, nuclear deterrence. It has nearly 100% reliability. The original inertial navigation system provided it with an accuracy of about 200 meters circular error probable CEP, but an upgraded inertial guidance system gives it 120 meters CEP. This basically means that the missile can be targeted with near pinpoint accuracy even at long distance. Minuteman 3 has three stage solid fuel rocket engines. The first stage is the Theocol TU 122. The second stage is the Aerojet General SR 19 AJ 1. And the third stage is the Aerojet Theocol SR 73 AJ TC 1. The solid fuel missile can stand ready for extended periods of time with little maintenance. Hence, these can be launched on command without needing preparation. The President of the United States can authorize a nuclear attack from fixed command centers, such as the White House's Situation Room or also through the nuclear football. The nuclear football is a briefcase that contains codes that can be used by the President of the United States to authorize a nuclear attack while away from fixed command centers. The President is always accompanied by a military aide carrying the football. So, the missiles can be launched at any time and under any circumstances. A multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle MIRV, is a ballistic missile payload containing several warheads, each capable of being aimed at different targets. MIRV allows separately targeted nuclear warheads to be sent on their independent ways after the main propulsion stages of the missile launch have shut down. This technology is very complex and greatly increases the destructive power of a missile. Minuteman 3 was the first true MIRV capable missile. It can carry a maximum of three warheads and these can be independently targeted against three different locations. It carries W78 or W87 warhead. The W78 thermonuclear warhead is the warhead used on most of the United States Minuteman 3 missiles. The W-78 has a publicly announced yield of 335 to 350 kilotons of TNT. The W-87 is an improvement on W-78. Its design includes all modern safety features. The original yield of the W-87 was 300 kilotons of TNT but has the announced ability to be upgraded to a yield of 475 kilotons. So a single missile is capable of unleashing destructive power of around 1000 to 1400 kilotons of TNT. To give viewers a perspective, Little Boy atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima had a yield of 15 kilotons of TNT, and Fat Man atomic bomb that was detonated over Nagasaki had a yield of 21 kilotons of TNT. This test comes at a time when US President Trump's administration is in negotiations with Russia regarding extending New START with amended terms. The treaty is set to expire next year unless both parties agree to extend it out to 2026, and after that an entirely new deal will have to be worked out. The US government also wants China to join the strategic arms control regime, but China has shown no interest. If New START treaty collapses without a new treaty set in place, 
The United States would have a free hand to arm all of its Minuteman III missiles with three re-entry vehicles. Hence, the total number of deployed warheads can quickly rise from 400 to 1,200. It's clear that this test with three re-entry vehicles serves a special purpose and is a direct message to Russia and China that if they don't come to the negotiation table, they'll have to face the US, which will be armed more aggressively. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.